Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to stand here today and give you a TED Talk. My name is Nguyen Huang Ke, and currently I'm a graphic designer. When I was a kid, my parents worked very far away from me, so I had to live with my grandma, and she's very strict. Apart from the time being at school, she told me, "Stay at home 24/7 and don't go anywhere." So <laughs> I spent almost eight hours a day watching movies, uh, cartoons, anime. Sometimes I drew something from this, and sometimes I cooked, did embroidery, and that's why I didn't feel lonely in my childhood because those occupied nearly my whole day. So growing up a bit, I came to realize what I'd experienced in the past is called art. Art is everywhere, and we live with it every time. Music, literature, cinematography are called art, and even more so, games, cooking, graphic design, and even the clothes and accessory that you are wearing right now are called art too. Not only is it omnipresent, but it's also powerful that could make the world a better place. So I'm here today to unveil the miracle of art, that how art has been benefiting everyone in the community. So first, art strengthens memorization. So in numerous bodies of research, I found that art plays a pivotal role in evoking our emotions, and our emotions are ignited by our experiences with art. So let's take a look at an example, a movie, to clarify it. So this is my favorite movie, The Little Mermaid. Just like other The Prince or Princess um, movie, it's talked about a girl, a mermaid. She has to ride out the storm to get together with her loved one. And along the journey, she meets many obstacles, but against the odds, she successfully finds the true love and the eternal happiness. The plot is great, immaculate, but believe me, those who have remember about this movie, not just of the plot, but the music. But from an angle of a graphic designer, I have found more than that. It's not that simple. It has to be a combination of artistic images, dynamic animation, emotional soundtrack, the art of storytelling, and the construction of Ariel that all paved the way for the long-term remembrance of this movie. So, because during the process we watch this movie, our emotions are evoked, right? Whether anger, happiness, or sadness, according to the story, that the more intense our emotions, the longer the experience will remain in our memory. And it's also the case to other experiences in life, just like the time that you are over the moon when hitting the jackpot, or being in despair when losing someone you love. And art is doing very good job in that aspect. Moreover, the emotional impact of art is beneficial in medical treatment. For example, listening to ambient music help people in stress reduction and also act as a therapy for Alzheimer and dementia care. When I'm immersed in the graphic design world, actually, I have seen art has been changing the world for a century. It's not that many artworks brings a great deal of money. Actually, they do, but it's not the thing. The thing is that they have simultaneously been used to call for substantial support for meaningful campaigns. So one typical example of this I would take is Sunflower Campaign, which was very popular in Vietnam in 2018. So this campaign had collected over 300,000 
drawings of sunflowers in exchange for approximately 5 billion Vietnamese dong to eight children diagnosed with cancer. Back in the day, I thought it was so meaningful so that I think that I want to join the process. Thankfully, being a graphic designer grants me golden opportunity to actualize this. So, I caught um, many art projects that I usually carried out revolves around being human-centric and tradition-oriented. One of my profound team projects that I bring it to RevFest 2023, a research competition in Vietnam that looked like this. Actually, it's, it's an illustration project with the integration of technology and music, but unfortunately, <laughs> we cannot hear it right now because of some struggles here. However, when bringing this project to RevFest 2023, we are fortunately awarded first runner up. And that is the song of my hometown in the Southwest. And surprisingly, we gained tremendous support from musicians, ethnologists, and singers specializing in traditional music. And it's awesome, right? But actually, it's not just about award and support, but it's more about the traditional values that we went the extra mile to preserve. Even though they were so small comparing to other humongous art projects, but to us, we, are, we did something meaningful. We successfully preserved the traditional value of Vietnamese culture. And there are many projects that I did too to bring positive values to our society. Here they are. So, typically, recall bar game, that is also the project, promotes environmental education. Or the Phoenix Slam the Case poster celebrates female leadership. Or the Lionel Cut Prince that celebrates the historical image of Baju and the next board game promotes collaboration and creativity through engaging gameplays and dreamlike illustration. There are more, many more yet to tell to preserve the tradition and to advance human assets. So even though they are so small comparing to other, but I feel contented for what I have done and I feel meaningful for what I have been striving for, for such a really long time. And every single artist really needs that sense of meaningfulness. For artists out there, whether you are singer, musician, those who work in, in like art industry, bear in mind that what deeply remains in people's mind and heart over time is not the external beauty, but what remains is the true value from within your artwork that will last long over time. And art is my friend, actually. I'm grateful for what art has given me. It shows me how beautiful the world is and how many things that I haven't discovered yet. Given me a pair of eyes to see the world through positivity, rather than loneliness when I was always alone in my childhood without parents by my side. Fortunately, they also gave me invaluable lessons from movies, lessons from stories and fairy tales, teaching me to differentiate between the good and evil, and also granting me knowledge to educate me to have a mind with intelligence. And once again, thankful, thank you, Art, for showing me a sea of meaningful campaigns and beauty with a purpose, demonstrating that art is not just beauty, 
but it possesses tremendous power to help many people in adversity. It gave me a heart filled with compassion towards the community. You see, I have a destiny along with art to create more things, more values to contribute to the society. Some may ask that I am burdening myself, that I'm upset with giving back to art or sanctifying my life meaning. But actually, I want to live a meaningful life so that when I get old, looking back, I have no things to regret. One meaningful values breeds another one. It is art that has given me such a perspective. And as a value that we want to share to everyone, we need value creators who are artists and value sharers who are all of us. So what we need is collective efforts. The power of art is the power of sharing, turning me, a person nourished by positive values, into ones who could promote these values within our society. And there are many others one who are inspired in the same way or are inspiring at the same time. Passing down this legacy to younger generation then come future generation. And that's exactly the values of sustainability. Proving that the influence of art is timeless. Art is holding the torch that illuminates my life and the lives of so many. Human beings, we are the fuel. We are catalyst. To make it shine brighter, we have to add more to it. So support art, artists, or any art campaigns for a good course, because an act of your support can resonate. And other artists, when they know that their artworks is supported, they know that they are value. And that's its endless motivation for artists to continue to contribute to our society. Or just by a simple act, allowing your child to pursue art. Possibly what you are doing is sowing the seed of hope or a future of more problem solved. And thank you, Art for being with me as a friend for such a really long time. And thank you for showing me how miracle looks like. Thank you.